I want to have you participate in a short quiz. Let me see how long it takes you to figure this out. This thing is reddish brown in color. It weighs about three and a half pounds. It's responsible for approximately 500 different functions. It's the largest internal organ and gland in the body. It's key for digestion and essential for detoxification. It's the only human organ that is naturally capable of regenerating its own tissue. Everything you eat, drink, or medicate with passes through it. It stores nutrients like vitamin A, D, B12, and glucose. Symptoms only develop after extensive damage is done. And finally, it rhymes with river. How perceptive of you. Yes, it's the liver. Seriously, without it, you die. Yet, so many of us brutally mistreat our liver, often without even knowing it. Last year, I lost my best friend to cirrhosis of the liver, and it was an ugly, heartbreaking death. He had been a really fun guy and a great athlete. We'd played a lot of sports together over several decades. He was 62 years old at the time of his death, but looked and felt 100. I know you're thinking with cirrhosis, he must have been a heavy drinker. Would it surprise you to know that he had only ever had one beer and that was way back when he was in high school? Sure, alcohol consumption is a major cause of liver disease, but there are a number of things that can be hostile to this extremely vital organ. Here's a short list of some of the more common culprits. I've got to say it again, alcohol, but NSAIDs, over-the-counter pain pills, especially those that are acetaminophen-based, like Tylenol, and to a lesser degree, ibuprofen products like Advil and Motrin. Some of the stronger, more specialized antibiotics like tetracycline, as well as prescription meds that contain steroids, codeine, and antidepressants like Valium. Statin drugs, which are those that are prescribed to control cholesterol. Over-the-counter supplementation of vitamin A, iron, and niacin can become toxic. Certain heart arrhythmia medications like amiodron, methotrexate, which is a medication prescribed for rheumatoid arthritis and psoriasis. Three of the major liver villains are diabetes and obesity, which are a problem for about 25% of the U.S. population, and hepatitis, which is an inflammatory disease caused by a virus. Keeping your liver healthy in today's world can be a bit tricky. If you avoid the bad stuff we just mentioned, along with eating a healthy diet and getting regular exercise, you shouldn't have to worry about your check liver warning light coming on. Garlic, apples, beets, carrots, grapefruit, asparagus, olive oil, avocados, Lemons, limes, cabbage, walnuts, and turmeric are foods that are beneficial and help you to love your liver.